Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. They zombie let's play. Waha. -ha. So guys, we're back here in this awesome let's play of awesomeness where we are just rapidly destroying everyone. I mean there is li no, excuse me. There is literally not much that we have not done and literally not many things that we cannot do in this let's play. We are all like invincibly powerful. Okay, and I've been noticing that I can release some nations right about now to free up some of my colonial points. I might do that because I'm getting kind of sick of our colonial points being bogged down by all this, like, mm, stupid repetitive stuff. Um, but on the other hand, I really do like to not give up land, so... Yeah, it's I'm kind of at a standstill right now, if you really must know. Should I give up land or stuff, or should I do this, should I do that? I don't know. But it seems like there's the, the Confederation of Seagal formed in Africa, and it got it's going to be pwned by zombies here soon because it has absolutely no army, and whatever army is right there is just going to destroy whatever is right there. Mm. And apparently, they're actually entering the colonizational range. They're actually fighting France right now. Good job. I don't know why anyone's trying to colonize Africa right now since we don't even have enough you know, army to defend ourselves, but good job for you guys to not realizing where your priorities are, Europeans. Good job! <laughs> oh gosh, like, like seriously, if I was in a situation, I'd be like, yep, we should not go colonizing, we should protect our internal affairs first, and then go after external affairs. Because this is just gonna kill them. I just wanna point that out, that's just gonna kill them. And, let's see, since I cannot conquer all of Belgium because my people are being sissies, Let's see, can I add a war goal for anything? No. My people are just idiots. They seriously want to make peace with almost anything they have. That's just stupidly wrong. And I could give people more rights. That sounds really good in a sense. Let's get back to the Jefferson met method of voting because that is what America actually uses. So let's use it because that's what America actually uses. We use the Jefferson me method of voting. Mm-hmm. New store in Harrensburg. Yay! Yay! And, yeah, if I have to, I'm going to start seriously curving everything to be... To be as much of a con... As to conquest as much as possible. Because I seriously want to conquest as much as possible. But if my people are going to prevent me, then I might... If this really does become a problem, I might just, like, cancel the... Cancel, like... Do a mod or do a cut cheat or do something to like increase my uh, genderism to like four nine no four hundred thousand so that it does not have this because this is pretty this is pretty stupid I should be able to just go in right now and conquer whatever I want I'm like the power of the world I have not only America I have America American South America <laughs> stupidest name I've ever heard in my life okay are you about ready are you about done yet uh. Uh, Bavaria, it's, you guys are dead. I'm, I'm just gonna say that now. You guys really aren't gonna win this. I'm just like slowly walking over your land. That's all I'm doing. I mean, you guys had less of an army than the Prushkins did. And the Prushkins are supposed to be this big gigantic threat. Okay. Now, the only thing I am worrying about in this, in this new European theater is the fact that Zombles can now spawn from anywhere. And they are gonna be coming after people, so I'm kinda worried about that. But the good thing about the Zombles, though, is the fact that I think that they're going to spawn in much lower numbers because since the population of regions is much more reduced due to the zombies already coming out I think that's how it's going to work okay you guys are going to give me Frankfort give it to me thank you you guys get back in the land and now we're just going to hide here for a couple days and we're going to see is there any zombies I have to deal with still no not big enough for me to really have to think about I mean, they're trying. I can see the zombies are trying to try to break through America, but as we say, we do not let anyone that is not from America come to America. Mm hmm. And major discoveries are everywhere. Like, we are this. America is like the center of, like, everything. We discover medicines, we discover guns, we discover the physics, the, the you know, formulas, physics thing. I failed epically on that. Okay, lazy natives need to adapt. Okay, 
So let's see, do we want anything else from here? Proportional representation. Um, Two-party two candidate, if I really wanted to, I would do that. No, I don't. For this, I actually do think we should do uh, gerrymandering. That's, that's totally American. I'm not going to reverse that. I'm just trying to get to what America had about this time. So weighted wealth is what we... No, we were already... I think we are already starting to move... Excuse me, people. I think we're already starting to move towards a very naturalistic society. So I'll look that up in a second. But let's just start deleting a lot of these, like... Well, actually, this factory can stay because it actually has a glass factory right there. So that actually should increase its money. I think it's just failing because there wasn't enough people in that region. Alright. And now that we've divided and successfully divided a couple more countries, let's go think of another good colonial gain. Um, can I completely annex Denmark? Let's see. No, I could not. So it's probably not good to go conquer them. Um... The African scramble is going on, guys! Yeah! The African scramble! In the zombie apocalypse! So stupid. <laughs> well, what I'll do is I'll go after Hodenstein because I don't really... Can I justify? Uh, we cannot... Oh yeah, this is a puppet right now because it's a puppet of, uh... Denmark. Dang it. Okay, so yeah. No, it's a puppet of Sweden. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, so they're un completely untouchable for a little bit. Let's see, can we conquer Sweden? Like, I... Switzerland, Switzerland is such a peaceful country. Can we just go in and go conquer them? Like, seriously. I'm trying to figure out different ways to conquer different people in Europe, but it's not giving me many options here. Okay, justify war. Conquest. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think what I need, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might need to get nationalism and imperialism. Or counter-revolutions and stuff like that, because I think it gives me an extra bonus versus, like, little tiny nations. Little tiny nations. So... We might need to get that. Um, let's see. Is it only time to go back to war with Prussia? Let's see. I have a peace treaty with all you guys, so no, it is not. In fact, it'd be a time to go to war with the great UK army. And let's see. Where do I want to move next in terms of colonization? Right here. Let's move right there. Right there, everyone. Right there. Because that's a good place to go in and be America. Okay. So let's move over here back to America land. That's officially America. Yeah, it seems like some of the zombie land is starting to be converted. That's good. And finally, these guys are dead. Oh my goodness. That took so long for Columbia to finally die. Oh, wait. Columbia's still alive. Well, everyone, just ignore what I just said. <laughs> okay. Uh, repeat. Ignore what I just said. We are still looking for Delta Niners down on the Gulf Coast and over. Okay, it seems like we're making a lot of money now, so I'm going to, like decrease my how much my taxes are because I'm making a lot of money like a ton of money I'm also going to increase my uh, administration power because we can and the National League yes we finally have baseball invented in America thank goodness I was waiting for that event like seriously oh gosh and baseball has been invented now the world can rest in peace mm. All right, but seriously, where are we going after next in terms of colonization? Oh. Oh, I hate you guys. You guys, really? Really? I offer you guys freedom and liberties, and you guys just complain. For shame. I'm going to divide this army, too. For shame. Okay. Go, men! Go scatter! You guys must go kill all those rebels! Oh, gosh. I get the... Seriously, why can't Rebels just give me a break? I'm doing... I'm doing so well right now as Master Dictator of the World. Like, seriously? I mean, who else in the world is this good off? As Americans are. Seriously. You guys can just be quiet, not rebel, and just let me try to save the world from a zombie horde apocalypse saying you my barber. I mean, I do not judge you guys how you guys live your guys' lives, so don't judge me on how I live my life. Oh my goodness. Uh, seems like we might need another army to be built. That, that's probably opening my eyes a little bit. Seems like many more people are coming in now, and that's not good. And it seems like I'm going to be getting more of Germany land. It seems like I'm becoming the USA and Germany at the same time. It's kind of funny now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, and my people are crushing as many armies as I can. 
Okay, you guys were supposed to be also hunting more rebels. Okay, you guys go crush the zombies, actually. We need to go kill the zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys back to just go kill zombies. Uh, the rest of my armies go destroy those stupid rebels that are being quite annoying to me. I gotta admit, because I'm being, I'm trying to be the nice dictator right now, but you guys are just making it difficult. Okay, wealth. I think we, at this point in America time, I, we were either on wealth or weighted wealth. I don't think we were on universal. We were definitely not on universal. What am I thinking? Universal was after WW1. So let's go crush these guys. No, don't do anything like that. Yeah, it seems most of my troops got it under control anyways. The armies are about to all die anyways. I We got it under control. Okay, naval organization. Got more stuff. Got more stuff. And I could possibly go colonize this and now connect my land, which would be extremely nice. Because now I don't have to, like, keep sending troops over on this side and get troops on this side. They can just not walk through everything. It's really nice to have. Okay, my colony is still not done over there. It should be done here really, really soon. And seriously, guys, just don't build colonies yet. It's not yet time. Because the zombies are just going to gobble it all up. Oh, gosh. This is scary. It's just... Oh, gosh. I, I don't know how to say it anymore, but that's like the ultimate stupidity right there. Just ultimate stupidity. Okay, now it's starting to do pretty bad in money woes, so... Let's see, how can we cut down our money by a, by a lot? Um, or raise our money by a lot. But mainly, I think our main problem is that we're importing too much. Uh, national stack pile purchase does count for most of our, you know, massive debt and problems, but I'm going to tear just a little bit. See if that helps us. Yeah, it did actually help us by a lot. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, so... Tariffing does work in some cases, guys. Just not many. Let's close down that. And there's one more that seems to be doing terrible somewhere. There it is. Close down that one. Okay. Continuing on with America. Okay, and it seems like we're doing back to terrible, so. Time to tax the poor again. And the newfound nationalists are revolting. You see? It. Uh, see? You know, in this game, I would like to point this out, this game always makes it so hard to, like, want to give freedom to your people. And this is the exact reason why. I mean, I'm not even, like, kidding you guys. Like, seriously, this is the reason why I don't want to give freedom to my people, is because every time I give freedom to my people, they instantly start revolting against me. It's like, okay, what? Okay, so I give you guys all the stuff you want, and yet you guys want to go back to, like, you know, you guys, and you guys want to, like, revolt again. It doesn't make any sense. And then sometimes they'll be revolting because they want a dictator in power. And it's like, so you guys are revolting, revolting to get less freedom in this war? Okay, you guys really need to take some pills or something to get your values straight. Cause that's pretty stupid. I'm going to be honest. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I can't colonize any more of this land, but I have a lot of this land. And I'm a little bit worried about this mini zombie horde right here. I'm not sure how big it is yet, so I don't want to, like, connect my lands with France. So it's kind of good that I'm kind of just sitting here, just relaxing. You know, just kind of chilling. You know, I'm going to first find out how big they are to see if I need to go send some more soldiers there first. And zombies there got destroyed. What up? And more crusaders again. Uh, let's see, you guys, yeah, you guys are all conquered by Zombieland, so I'm not even gonna have you guys do anything. Battle of St. John's ended in our victory. Yes, America. Okay, so now we just need to find more places to conquer. Let's see. Oh, we have peace with Prussia right now. That's good. I'm gonna justify war to go acquire a state. Because right now, that'd be really awesome. I think this time I'm gonna take this land right here. Let's week, let's week. That way I can start like going in more stuff, and the wickedness must be stamped out. <gasps> Acquire state ten infamy. Oh no! Whatever shall I do with ten more infamy to the already massive amounts of infamy I already have? Oh no! I'm also going to increase fundamentalism. That way colonial migration will happen much better, and that way a lot of these places will become American. Okay, and let me see. How are we doing in terms of capitalists? Because I have not been looking at the capitalist agenda for a very, very long time. And, okay, let's stop. We move focus from here. Okay, yeah. 
It seems like we don't have many capitalists, but I'm pretty sure California could probably use some capitalists. Uh, actually, we do. If we could like start promoting more reactionary parties, that'd be pretty nice. But let's start making capitalists over there. And capitalists, what else? Texas is usually a good place to build lots of bu not bureaucrats, not bureaucrats, capitalists. There we go. Capitalists, capitalists. All right. And furniture factories are being built. I mean, look how many factories are being built, guys. I and mean, we have so much room for expansion. We got an entire South American, we have an entire sister American continent down there to like get. This is like, oh gosh, the amount of factories we can build is just super, super vicious. And they're coming for us, everyone. They're coming for us. I know some way, no how. Those guys are coming for us. Okay, pause. Thank you. Stop moving around. Ohio, uh, it won't work because I don't think there's enough people there in its own right for it to work. Okay, and let's see. Do I have any more factories closed down? Nope. And I can give more power to the people. Weighted Universal or non-plagiarizing two-party system. Not gonna do that. Uh, Weighted Universal. There we go. I gave a lot of people more power. They better not be angry at me. That's all I'm gonna say. I gave you guys a lot of power. More power than I was ever intending to give you guys. Well, actually, I take that back. We're America. We give out lots of power. Mm. Okay. And let's see. When's our war with Prussia going to start? Can we declare war right now? Can we? No. Denounce the league in order to No. Denounce the league. Are you kidding me? We're not going to... You guys want us to not stop colonizing? Are you crazy? We're doing colonization to save the world. This isn't about some kind of stupid, uh, you know, conquer everything to exploit them for the resources. Wink, wink. But, this is for the safety of the world. With them safe, it will save America from the evil, 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 evil soldiers. I mean, right now we have three, four big armies protecting us against Mexico. And we're keeping it very much gone. We are not moving any of our armies away from the coast. Mm. Okay, and sorry about that. I just had to, like, readjust and I just, like... <laughs> Oh, that was really stupid. That's all I gotta say. Okay. It seems like I'm having just major money woes. That's all I'm gonna say. I think it's because of my... That's not my taxes. It's probably my tariffs. Uh, you never really know. I've always... It's always been hard for me to figure out the uh, budget system in Victoria 2. Like, sometimes you'll be doing really good and you'll, like, feel really happy. But then other times you'll, like, do really terrible and you're like... What the heck happened? Yeah. But it's probably, I do like this, I do like the factory system in this game. It is probably one of the best. I'm not even going to deny it. It's probably one of the best because it's so complex and just so much info and just so good. Like, you really have to know how to play Victoria 2 to get this. Or you really have to know how to play this game to get this colonial system. Which is so nice to see when games really, when you really have to learn the game to play it. Yeah, so nice. And apparently Mexico is starting to be converted. Just starting, which is nice. <laughs> Happy days, Mexico. Oh, semi Mexico, everyone. Semi Mexico. Okay, and I got enough money now to where I'm taxing and tariffing my people to death. Not to death, but close to death. And our war goals are almost there. Hmm. Almost there. We just have to wait a little bit longer, and then we can go to war. Prussia, steal another region from them, and then have even more land. And we are building a lots of different factories. I mean, we are base. I think we're basically the world economy right now. Okay, you. Yeah, that that that's close. That's gonna close down because that's just way too much money I'm wasting right there. I mean, seriously, that much money off of that one factory, and it's even being subsidized. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, any other places that should be closed down? Eh, that's getting pretty up there, but it's not quite there yet. Wait, did I just see 15? No. By the way, stop subsidizing a lot of these factories. Yeah, that's costing us a lot. Subsidizing factories for no dang reason is costing us a lot. So let's just delete some of our subsidize. And oh my goodness, that's making us so much money! Oh, oh gosh, and let's finish out today with a quick with a quick declaration of war. Wait, which region am I trying to take again? This region right here, which is called the Shotskin region, so declare war, get the Shotskin region, 
declare war, and, well guys, I'm going to move in my troops, I'm going to move in right there, and with that everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the future. Bye.